What's up, Nessie Navy? It's your girl, Salami Mani, back with another video. So, and as y'all read that title, I'm going to be giving you guys an emergency an emergency kit for back to school or wherever you whatever you do. You need an emergency kit for whatever emergency. It could be your breath stink and you need some gum. You could be musty and you need some deodorant. You could start your cycle and you need a pad. Um, yeah. How many we could have so many emergencies you need this stuff in your emergency kit. So y'all gonna be making one with me. Don't play with me like that. You better focus and you better stay focused. Okay, so I got my little bag right here. I'm about to make mine on camera with y'all. So I don't go to school no more, but this is for middle schoolers, elementary school, high schoolers, college, all of that. All of that. You, everybody need them emergency kit. You have an emergency anywhere, literally. I'm not in college, but my friends are in college and they get an apartment this year. So I'm gonna be in a like swim wear and I'm gonna need my emergency kit because I'm not about to be bringing products from my house back and forth there and back and forth here like I'm not about to do that so I'm about to go ahead and make my emergency kit because school is right around the corner so I suggest y'all to go to Dollar Tree and get y'all some stuff for y'all emergency kit always get y'all a bag that's like clothes or whatever your school be tripping about not having a see-through bag Get you a little bag and put it in your see-through bag because now you being nosy. If you can see my not see-through bag through my see-through bag, like relax. It's not that serious. This is my emergency kit. If you want to see what's in my emergency kit here, it, you need a pad. We about to get right into this. I haven't made this video in like two or three years. I think I did it one time or twice. I don't remember, but we about to get right into this video. And I spent forty. $40, $40. Okay, so you don't have to spend that much. I'm a little extra. I overthink and all of that. So I'll be like, what if I need this? What if I need this? Y'all, some of this stuff y'all gonna see and be like, girl, you you don't need that. I'm gonna go through the important stuff with y'all first. So let me go ahead and sort out the important stuff and like the extras that you really don't need but you know you could have really suggest y'all going to dollar tree because everything is a dollar and you're not going to spend at least you're not going to spend a hundred two hundred dollars on products if y'all want me to do an expensive emergency kit i got y'all hit y'all local dollar tree store up like right now because after i do this video everybody gonna be going to dollar tree and making them the emergency kit as y'all should though. always need some pads tampons whatever you use with you just in case you don't have a little leak or like a little surprise like mother nature be like surprise mother you you gonna need some pads so always have your pads and your tampons and what i don't have with me right now is some panties well they in my closet but always have you some period panties or like some extra panties because you never know so always have you some panties in your emergency kit as well next things first is some panty liners it's the same thing as pad was well, not the same exact thing but Panty liners, you know, always have you some panty liners too. These, um, y'all probably like, what do you need this for? Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but after I changed my pad, I put my dirty pad in a bag. So, I'm not gonna walk around the schoolhouse with tr trash bags and my book bag. So, I'm gonna carry some of these. And then, like, I'm gonna put my, my dirty pad in a Ziploc bag. And we're gonna throw it away in a little trash bin. Because some girls, some like to just put their pad in there like their dirty tampon they don't wrap it up in toilet tissue you could do that too but i just rather go the bag way because like i don't want the janitor to be, be having to touch that stuff like that come on come on don't don't make the janitor touch your pad even though i'm pretty sure he wear gloves like come on just put it in a ziploc bag it's, it it kills the odor and all that so make sure you have you some Ziploc bags so you can put your dirty tampon in. You could put it in the trash or whatever. Do this is what I do. Next, y'all know y'all gotta have some deodorant just in case you get a little musty. You know, you just always gotta have you some deodorant. It ain't gotta be like the best because it's just for an emergency. So just don't be bougie about your emergency kit. Just it's for emergencies. Like don't try to be bougie. But if you want a bougie emergency kit, I got you. I always have you some deodorant. Put you some deodorant. I don't even think I put deodorant on today. Oh, no, I did. Have you some Kleenex just in case you need to blow your nose like me. <laughs> Y'all. 
I'm pretty sure y'all got the memo of me blowing my nose all the time. I tell y'all this like all the time. Just always have you some Kleenex to wipe your nose. So you ain't got to go back and forth to the bathroom or nothing like that. Just have you some Kleenex with you. Um, Band-Aids, just in case. Now, this was just like an extra. I'm not even going to lie. Well, it's kind of emergency too because like, let's talk, about, let's talk about how the nurses are be there like once a week. What am I going to do if the nurse not there and I, and I don't have a Band-Aid and I can't get in a nurse's little office or whatever. And I need a Band-Aid. What? What's not, what's going to happen if Johnny stabbed me with a pencil and I start bleeding? Have you a band-aid after you punch Johnny in the face? Beat his ass! No, let me stop. But seriously, have you some band-aids? Some gum. Like, if your breath is stinking, throw you a piece of gum. Don't be in everybody's face. Always have you some gum. If you know, after lunch, you can't brush your teeth. And also, also, hold on, hold on. I got that too. I I personally would not brush my teeth in a school's bathroom because I don't know how y'all school is, but I, I'm just not comfortable with brushing my teeth in those sinks. Like, you would be surprised. I'm not going to out my school, my old school, well, the school I graduated from. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to do my school like that, but you would be surprised what happens in them sinks. <sighs> So, I wouldn't, you know, suggest this, but I mean, like, if your school is clean and, you know, if you go to college, I can see, you know, I don't know, I don't know. It's really just like a, mm, I don't know, but I got this home in my friend's house, but you can, you can have your little um toothbrush and stuff with you at school. But yeah, I always have you some gum. I also got some mint. Uh, some breath strips. My grandpa used to have these all the time and I just got them because I was like wow I don't remember seeing these all the time at my grandma and grandma house. What? My grandma and grandpa house. So get you some, get you some breath strips lay them on your tongue and these really work like yup your breath will just be feeling real cold. It's gonna knock that odor right out after lunch. Okay. And y'all know we be eating them hot fries and hot chips. Why? Can someone explain to me why do we choose to eat hot stuff at school? Even if it's not hot stuff, we always eating snacks and chips and stuff. And that, it's always the stinking ones. Like, it's always the stinking food and snacks that we eat at school. And then afterwards, your breath stinks. So, yeah, like I said, I always have you, you know, something to put in your mouth afterwards. I have some hauls because it's COVID season and even if... Is not COVID. People's gonna look at you when you cough. So get you some cough drops so you could chill with all the coughing. I really suggest that. And I and I suggest the yellow pack. I love that. Yellow pack is the favorite. Next I have is some Huggies. I went to the baby section and got these because I seen all the fragrance the fragrances they had in the women's section, like where the pads and stuff was at. But I went to the baby section because I don't deal with I don't I don't play that. I don't play that. I don't put it. Yeah, I don't put that. So, I got me some, you know, if the babies could use it, I can use it as well. I just got me some sensitive, you know, huggies or whatever after you done pan pooping, wipe off. Wipes is like the best thing ever. Like, wipes? Wipes? Wipes will, you could freshen up whenever. Like, you thought you started your period. You know, when you think you started your period and then it's your period, you could wipe off. Even after you take off your pack, you can wipe with the wipes. Not no dry toilet tissue. We're not, we're not wiping off with dry toilet tissue. If that's all you have, yes. But if you get your emergency kit, get you some wipes in there so you can wipe all of it off. All that residue off, okay? All of it. Next is some Carmex. Same as lip gloss. You know, them lips get chapped. You got you some Carmex. I got some Advil. Just some pain medicine. I always have like some pain relievers with you. Just in case your head start hurting. Your teacher made your head hurt. Anything. Just always have you some pain relievers. I just got Advil because I got these from Dollar Tree. And I just, I took these before and it worked. So I just got Advil again. But they had ibuprofen and all of that. All that stuff. Some disinfectant wipes. I don't know if y'all sit on y'all 
school toilets but I don't I put tissue down if I have to use the bathroom there if you don't want to put no tissue down at least just wipe with some you know wipes on the toilet seat because baby it's it's gross don't sit down at don't sit on them public toilets y'all don't do it people be having stuff that bro it's gross like imagine like how many booties sit on a toilet seat like imagine it like put some toilet tissue up there or wipe it off and this say kills coronavirus okay but always carry you some masks just in case one break it fall on the floor always carry some masks i got these from dollar tree all this came from dollar tree like i said it comes with three of them in there so always keep you some emergency mask okay i got some hand sanitizer this is the last like essential that you really really need yeah some hand sanitizer always keep you some hand sanitizer on ya we don't need no germs coming back to the house none of it none of it so keep you some hand sanitizer all right so let's go on to the extras and stuff y'all yeah yeah so let's go on to the extra stuff i got some <laughs> hold on because this not really this not really extra so after you change your pad after you poop in the public bathroom or whatever you do after you use the bathroom and it's a little funky afterwards spray <laughs> spray you some like spray wait what what is this called oh this smells great i'm taking this to my car no i'm not no i'm not no, i'm not but this smells great i wasn't ready i really wasn't ready but bring some air freshener spray the bathroom spray spray your stall after you're done because someone's gonna come right after you i remember one time one time y'all one time y'all let me tell y'all i used the bathroom but i promise y'all i promise y'all i promise y'all it was thinking before i even went in there so i'm coming out and i'm like this lady gonna think i got this doll smelling like this and i swear it wasn't me but just always keep y'all some air freshener so the shorties after you don't think you just blew that stall up okay so just keep you some air freshener so this is really getting central for real some socks now this was me being extra overthinking like what i'm gonna need some socks for i don't know but if you want to be extra like me how you some extra socks okay um well i'm not going back to school i'm gonna be at a college yeah in a college yeah yeah so I might need some socks for real. When I stay with my friends, I be forgetting everything. Like I forget everything. So now I got me a little bag, and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'm not gonna have to ask them for nothing. 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 Okay. So next I have is some lotion. I mean, when I say this is extra, I I really think it is extra because it's like you could be ashy. I mean, it's like not that serious, but you know, it it's. If you ashy, you don't want to be ashy. So, I got some lotion if you get ashy. Let me tell y'all. Always keep y'all some lotion with y'all. Feel me? But you know you was ashy till you stepped inside a school building. Now you got you some lotion and your emergency kit. You're good. You're Gucci. Next, I have some shavers. I got this because so I got me an edge brush. Always keep you an a edge brush if you know. Want to keep your hair intact and all of that. Have you an edge brush? A brush. I got me a brush right here for like when I have me some curly hair, you know, with the brush and start brushing your hair and it's going to be looking real good. I used to um wear curly hair in high school and I used to go to gym school. Uh, I used to go to gym class and would get real puffy and then I wouldn't have me a um what are these brushes called i ain't gonna say what i was gonna call them i didn't have my detangling brush so i used to have to just put water like a lot of water in my hair and just brush it with my hands you know use my fingers but now i got my brush with me next i have is some scrunchies rubber bands whatever you want to call it just in case you have to you know not in this plan. Just if you need a scrunchie, you you got some. You know, someone always gonna need a scrunchie at school. So then I have a scarf because, like I said, gym class. You don't want to sweat your lace. You going outside, y'all? It is so hot outside. You don't want to. Yeah. Put you a scarf on. I don't know if y'all school will let y'all wear scarves, but if you can, have you a scarf so you could lay your edges down while you in class or anything like just have you a scarf if your 
lace start coming up put your scarf on that's that is an emergency no one wants to be walking around school with the fit lace how you a head scarf how you a head scarf this is really like lotion as well i just got options i just i just be having options so i got this i have this lint roller because y'all i don't know how many times i've walked out my house with black jeans on and didn't know i had so much lint on my jeans like it's been plenty of times and i regret it every single time so always have you a lint roller to get all that lint you don't want to look like you was in a white blanket okay okay and then i got some dove soap okay we're i know y'all not gonna like straight wash at school but i don't know if y'all have locking room i'm pretty sure you had a locking room so at the gym class you know you could freshen up you have you a washcloth i don't have a washcloth with me but have you some dove soap same thing with wipes but this sensitive dove soap works you know just hit your hot spots at the gym class all that if you gotta in gym class early tell your coach and tell them i gotta freshen up before you know i need extra time so can i you know go freshen up before the bell ring and all of that so have you some soap and freshen up in that locker room these are my last items candy always have you some chocolate and some candy like you never know what kind of vibe you're getting like what you're craving so always have you some candy some chocolate you know you know you know what I mean? So, and I picked blow pops because, like, a teacher should not be tripping about somebody eating a blow pop in class. Like, I'm not even making a mess. And I was going to get M&M's because, it's like, you, you can't make a mess with that. Like, it's a blow pop. That is it for my emergency school kit you guys like i love i like doing this video it's like so fun i could put y'all on to the reasons why y'all need this stuff with y'all at all times there we have it our emergency back to school kit oh my gosh look it literally fits right just like this literally and i really suggest y'all take it out the packaging because if you don't baby you gonna be carrying around a whole spin a night bag so i suggest you get something real small and this is what I need because I'm not going back to school, but you guys might be. But I'm just going to be carrying this from house to house, dorm to dorm. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going to be going on. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you go get you guys an emergency school kit because you're going to need one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you guys in my next video.